guys and welcome back to our channel. If you are trying to think of some new and fun things to do with your dog, you have come to the right place. If you have a very playful and energetic puppy like I do, I have a 14 month old golden retriever named Larcy. You would understand that any form of play is always a good time, always a good answer for them. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 20 different games slash activities that you can do with your dog. A lot of these activities are free or are very, very cheap to do with your dog. Nothing is expensive. A lot of it is things that you can do with stuff that you already have at your house at home. So the first one we're going to go over is Fetch. Fetch is Larcy's favorite thing in the entire world. Out of any of these games, Fetch is always going to be Larcy's favorite. She loves when we play Fetch in the house. She loves when we go to the dog park, throw the ball around. Anything where she can chase after a ball and play with it, she is happy. We will usually throw ours up the stairs just so that way she has to run up the stairs to be able to go get it. That usually tires her out a little bit quicker and just kind of makes it a little bit more fun. Next, we have scent work. So I actually have a whole video on scent work. If you haven't seen that, I will be sure to leave the link to the video in the description box so you can check it out. Okay, so for scent work, I just took a regular muffin pan and I'm going to fill up some of the spots with treats and then cover them all up with balls and then she's gonna have to move the balls to figure out how to get out the treats underneath. So right now five of them are full of treats. I'm gonna grab some balls. So now all of them have a ball over the treat. So I'm gonna put it down and then she's gonna have to figure out how to get the treats out. Oh good girl. Push it out of the way. Can you hold it for you? Good girl. Now you got it. Good girl. You can also use like toilet paper rolls for this. Just cut up toilet paper rolls or like a wrapping paper roll, like the big tubes of wrapping paper. Cut it up into smaller pieces and then same thing. Put it over top of the treat where the treat's in the middle and they have to figure out how to take that off to get the treat inside. Scent work is always a really good exercise for your dog. And if you've never done it before, you would be surprised by how much they probably will enjoy it. Next is hide and seek. Larcy loves slash hates playing hide and seek. She loves playing with us, but she gets very upset when we hide from her, especially if she can't find us after a while, she starts to cry. <laughs> Hi! See how she just immediately drops the ball? Next is hiding treats. So this is like a hidden treasure slash Easter egg hunt. Whenever it was Easter time, we have a video of her going after all of her Easter eggs and she loved it. She really enjoyed going around and finding all these Easter eggs with treats in them. So we just started hiding treats randomly in the house. Now that all the treats are hidden, let her out. Girl. Good girl. <laughs> she got in the most difficult way possible. The next one is to open the box. So I just got a treat out of her closet to put in the box and I'm going to close it up so that way she has to figure out how to get it out. And if you want to make it really difficult, you can like put it underneath the flaps. So I got the box full and I opened it up a couple times, just kind of loosen it up. And now I'm gonna put it down so she can find the treat. Good girl, get it. Good girl. Did you get it? Yep, she got it. That can keep them busy for a while. She also really enjoys having to finagle her way into the box so that she can get it back out. The next one is training tricks. So good activity to do with your dog always is going to be working on basic commands and different training tricks. There are still a lot of days that we do trick time with Larcy. Not every day, but usually a couple times a week. Sit. Can you sit pretty? Down. Oh. 
down, speak. Roll over. Good job. And also we'll kind of step things up another notch. So that way she's constantly improving and working on her skills. Next we have going for a walk slash run. I am definitely not a runner, but I love going for walks and your dog enjoys going for walks too. Another idea is a licky mat. I wish I would have gotten a licky mat sooner than I did, but now that we have them, I'm so glad that we do because they are so helpful in so many different scenarios, whether you're trying to groom your dog or bathe your dog. They love licky mats. It is a very good way to keep them distracted. So this is one of her licky mats. The other one is in the dishwasher. These are dishwasher safe, which is really, really nice. I just have some Kong stuff in the real peanut butter. They also make this in cheddar cheese and liver and I'm sure a couple other of uh, flavors too but of course peanut butter is her favorite and you either can just take it right out of the tube and just squeeze it on or you can even like mash up a banana and take a knife and fill it up with all the little cracks so there is just a couple little drops of peanut butter in there Next we have a binky. So not like a baby binky, but like a binky Kong. Same thing with the licky mat. We just take her Kong peanut butter and fill it up and put it in the freezer for a few hours. So that way it takes her longer to get the peanut butter out. But again, it is just a really good way to keep them occupied. If you do not have the binky Kong, I would highly recommend it. Our dog loves her binky Kong. She holds it with her hands just like a little baby. It is the cutest thing ever. The next game is to get out of the blanket. Ready? There you go, get out, good girl. It works better if you have a bigger blanket, but just to give you an idea, this is what we used when she was really little. So we've done this with a blanket. We have also done this when she was a little bit smaller with a laundry basket. We've done this with boxes. So many different things you can use for this. But basically you just throw a blanket on them and they have to find their way out. And she used to love doing this with the laundry basket, but now she's obviously too big. She'd easily get out of it. Then there's the cup game. This is something that you can do with any sort of cup. It does not have to be fancy. I use our plastic cups just so that way nothing gets broken. But basically you pick some cups and you will take a ball or a treat or something that they want and stick it underneath one of the cups. You just mix them all around and they have to kind of sniff out and figure out which cup has the ball or the treat or whatever underneath it. So I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna mix them up. One of them has a treat underneath. She has to figure out which one it is. Then we have an obstacle course. So this isn't really something that we've done a lot, but it's something that if you're very creative, you can definitely make an obstacle course for your dog. So whether it's having them trying to weave through poles or go through a hoop or go through a box, they have little tunnels at the dog park that they can do. They have little hurdles that they can learn to jump over. Just anything that you can think of to make it fun for an obstacle course. You are such a little baby girl. And then we have interactive treat brain games. So you can buy interactive games for this, but you can do stuff yourself. Like you can take some Tupperware, stack in a strategic way, put some treats in each of them. And they again have to figure out how to mess up the stack so that way they can get to the treats. And you can also do this with bottles and you can put a treat inside and they have to figure out how to get the treat from the inside of it. Obviously take off like the cap and any little plastic pieces and the wrapper, but Larcy loved doing that when she was little. Another idea is a pool. So maybe not such a great idea now for us because it is winter time and we have like three feet of snow outside, but in the summertime, Larcy loved having her pool and if you you really wanted to. The pool that we got is pretty nice and we could bring it inside and fill it up full of like plastic play balls, which I actually thought about doing and might do someday, like a little ball pit for dogs. The next idea is Gary. So Gary is a little snail that we have. It's a Kong shell, I think it's called, but if you've ever seen SpongeBob, that's why we call it Gary and she knows that toy by Gary. <laughs> if we say go get Gary, she knows that that's what we're talking about. So this is Gary. Can you tell the little snail reference now. And I just put a few pieces of her food in here because she has been eating this entire video. All I'm gonna do is flip this Gary around so it's like this and she is going to roll it around so that way she can get treats out of it. 
see how she rolls it? They also have this different balls that you can do the same type of idea with. The next game is Witch Hand. So you take a treat and you put it in one of your hands and mix it up behind your back. Give it to them. They have to sniff out which hand has the treat. All right, so I got a treat and I'm going to put it in one of my hands and she's going to have to guess which hand the treat is in. Which hand? This one? Yep, good girl. That was a hard one. But it gets really fun if you put like four treats in one hand and one in the other and then she picks the one with one treat and then she gets really upset knowing that she could have had four treats instead of one. The next idea is a spa day. So not every dog is going to think that this is a great time, but you can make it fun if they enjoy getting a bath, if you know how to give a little doggy massage, give them a little trim, do their nails. Larcy really does not mind it as long as she has her licky mat. The next idea is a doggy play date. Marcy really hasn't had a ton of these just because of the pandemic going on, but she has had a few and it is always really fun. It's a great way to socialize them, get them to learn how to play nicely with other dogs. The next idea is called find that toy. Larcy doesn't know what all of her toys are, but she does know what certain things are. Like if we say, like I said, go get Gary, she knows what Gary is. If we say, go get your binky, she knows what her binky is. If we say, go get Lammy, she knows what Lammy is. For this one, I have five of her balls there and I'm going to ask her to get me a blue one. Give me your blue ball. Good girl. She's still trying to get food out of Gary. Another one she knows is Puppy because she sleeps with Puppy every night. Where's Puppy, baby girl? Where's Puppy? Where is he? There he is. Basically just teaching them what different toys are just so that way you can easily tell them to go get certain ones because they will then know what you're talking about. And then the last one is teach them how to do like regular household things. So basically teaching them how to turn off a light switch, teaching them how to <laughs> Oh, okay. Teaching them how to open the refrigerator door and go grab you something out of the fridge. So while this can be really helpful, I don't teach her how to do that stuff just because I feel like it also could backfire on you. Like I don't want her to just go over and start opening the fridge on her own because she can when we're at work or just start turning on and off a light switch. So there is 20 different ideas of things that you can do with your dog. Larcy loves trying new things and doing different things things. If you are bored of the same routine, then hopefully something on this list gave you an idea of something different to do with your pet. Let me know what your pet's favorite activity is in the comment section down below. If you guys are not already following us on Instagram, please make sure that you go do that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that we post. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. As always, we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> this game is called trying to get the ball from your dog. <laughs>